Hello everyone, my name is Mike Duffy and this is day one of my powered paragliding journey. I turned 60 years old a couple months ago and decided this is something that I wanted to do as a hobby. I've always been interested in it, just never had the time to get going on it. So I watched a few videos, uh, Aviator PPG, uh, Tucker Gott's videos of course, and um, the Aviator PPG recommended that you get a kiting wing and a kiting harness and start practicing uh, before you come out to the training because the training will go so much better. They recommended you get a kiting wing and a kiting harness. I got the kiting harness but I did not get a kiting wing. I got a regular size wing because it was cheaper. And I uh, figured if I can do it with a regular size wing then I could probably do it with a kiting wing. So, but I think uh, it might be a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get going but um, we'll see how that goes. So come along with me and um, you'll get a good laugh I'm sure because uh, I try all these stuff and, and usually got to go through hurdles first and gear before I get proficient at anything. But uh, have some fun and we'll see. Well, today is the day one of trying to learn how to kite and uh, 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 starting on my path to paragliding. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I just bought a wing. Uh, it's a rather big wing for somebody who's brand new. But um, I'm going to get it all set up and uh, we'll see how she goes from there. Well, they say that the sights are pretty good. This is a park that's right down the street from my house. There's virtually no wind today. Um, so it might be kind of a bit of a challenge, slight bit, um, to give us a whirl. But uh, this is just day one, trying to, I watched some of the Aviator PPG videos on YouTube and um, setting up and pulling up and see how we do. Um, so here's the start. So one of the things you'll notice is, um, you know, I set everything up and uh, the wind changed. Well, it was slight wind and uh, at the time there were virtually none. So when I set up, I set it up in the wrong direction, of course. And so um, all that movement, um, all this was just a major pain in the butt. And I also have no idea what that humming sound is. It's really weird. No idea. It must it was a sped up. Must have been something went by and the road. Here now, I moved the wing down to the other side of the park. Uh, the wind is blowing at my face this time. You can see I bought a new, I bought a harness from, um, just a kiting harness from Amazon. wasn't very expensive, $136 or something like that. wasn't bad. Uh, so far, I've got 400 bucks, 450 bucks into the wing, uh, and uh, $136 in the harness, I think it is. But uh, so not too much into it. Um, there's a lot of used equipment out there that you can purchase and, and um, uh, most of it's in pretty good shape. Now if I was going to buy a used wing that I was actually going to fly, um, I would definitely have it inspected before I did that. You know, one of the worst things you could possibly have happen is falling out of the sky, which is not something I care to do. So um, all my equipment's going to be pretty well inspected and, and up to uh, how it should be. Now when I when I clipped in the first time, I clipped in face in the wing, which is really stupid. And then I realized, oh crap, I gotta turn back around and it was all crisscross. So uh, I'm, they sh I didn't pay attention enough apparently in the, in the PPG videos, the Aviator PPG videos when clipping in. <clears throat> so I got to go back and watch those again. But um, I'm gonna, uh, so I unclip, I turn around, clip them again. Then I realized uh, my brakes have to be on the bottom and when I clipped in, they weren't quite on the bottom like I wanted them to. And then I realized the brakes kind of be have to be in the back. So your A's and everything have to be facing forward. So when you clip in, you got to make sure when you pull those up that your A's are facing forward and your brakes are on the back. Uh, I didn't do that. It took me like three or four times. And then I was trying to figure out because they want you to grab the A's a little bit, uh, taunt, and hang on to your brakes with your with your fingers at the same time. So. I thought I had my A's pretty taut. I guess I didn't have them tight enough. And you'll see when I pull up what happened. Now you can see what I did, right? I had the outside A's, uh, leading edge um, risers, but I didn't have the inside ones tight enough. And uh, I think it's super important to get the inside ones super tight 
and have those come up first and then the outside ones um, and then you let go and, and try and steer at that point but uh, big fail and with that came a lot of uh, tangled uh, mess which was absolutely horrible and because um, the wing almost flipped over on top of itself I mean the outsides came in and then when I tried to straighten it out I tangled it up even worse and it took probably about an hour and a half two hours of unclipping the cables and, and straighten untwisting them all because it was such a major pain in the butt uh, live and learn I guess and also one of the things that um, contributed to the pain in the butt in this was it was about 94 degrees outside with a million percent humidity and I wasn't feeling very good I got a cold and this frustrated me to no end I can't tell you it was horrible absolutely horrible <laughs> So this is me trying to decipher what actually happened and I I thought initially that I set the wing up upside down um, I don't know how I could have done that but uh, that's what it appeared to me when I went back after it all flopped back over onto the ground it looked like everything was kind of on top of each other and that wasn't the case uh, I just pulled the outer A's taunter than the inner A's and it flipped over on itself that way but it sure looked like I had tried to start it up with it upside down which I don't even think that's possible, but I guess it probably could be. But uh, I was wrong um, in my analysis until I saw the video. I didn't even know if I even got it up or not. Anyways, the risers got all tangled on one side. And so I had to spend the next uh, hour untangling this damn thing. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and wrap it up like uh, the captain did of uh, one of the paragliding uh, training companies. Places do it and see if I can get it right. <clears throat> and so I can just take it out and have it upside right the next time I take it out. All right, we'll see how that goes. I'm tired. It's hot. It's got to be 94 degrees and about 94% humidity, it feels like. But uh, that's part one. Hold on, I'll let you know how it goes.